Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part one of my seed starting video. Now this video is going to start today and I will be back with you in seven to 14 days when we have first signs of germination. All right, let's get started. I'm outside in the backyard listening to the beautiful sounds of nature. We're going to hear birds singing and dogs barking and my neighbors barbecuing. So let's enjoy all of these sounds. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and sift through my seed starting mix. The very first thing you need to do is get out all the sticks. This is miracle Grow Seed Starting Mix. I bought these little wire baskets from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I'm going to use those two put together to strain through my seed starting mix. Now, sometimes we have big clumps of whatever. We have sticks and we have just, just different types of debris in the seed starting mix. And you want to remove all of that before you plant your seeds because you don't want your seeds having to fight the sticks trying to sprout a root or trying to sprout the leaves. I'm going to save everything that I remove and once I start my compost bin, I'll put it in there. So this is what it looks like. This is the big pieces. If you leave all this in there, it may stop your seed from being able to spring up out of the soil. So you wanna take those things out, the sticks, but we'll be able to um, mash some of that down and put it in that big bucket too. And let you see what my seed starting mix looks like now. It's all very nice. So this is what you want it to look like. This is the greenhouse kit, the seed, seed starting greenhouse kit. I bought these from Lowe's and I will put a price in the description because I can't remember how much they were now. But we're gonna go ahead and get these started. I think we're gonna do 50 today, maybe 50 tomorrow, just so I can get everything started this week. Now the best thing about these are they are biodegradable. biodegradable and you just separate them you break it apart and you put the whole thing in the hole when you get ready to plant I do not own the right to the music that's playing that's my next door neighbor having a good time comes with the little labels so you can label what you're planting Once I get all of the seeds in and everything planted, this is the greenhouse. You gonna put that on top. And you'll be done. I'm tapping the tray gently to remove the air pockets. Now I'm going to water the soil so the soil will be good and wet when I put the seeds in. Now I'm gonna 
tap it again so the water can go down. I'm gonna add a little more soil so that we'll have more soil in each cell. Tap, tap, tap. You want to get all the air out. Now that I've sifted my soil, I'm going to put the top on it and put it in the house so that it'll be ready for me the next time I get ready to start on the next tray and plant the next set of seeds. I came in the house because it was getting kind of cold out there and my neighbors are out there cooking out. So it was a little bit noisy. So excuse that, they having fun. It's spring, so everybody's trying to get out and have their first barbecue for the year. So it was really nice hearing the birds and the dogs. Okay, so now let me show you what I done. I took some frog tape and I labeled everything I'm gonna plant. Okay, there are 10 rows of five and I labeled everything and I put my seeds in order. So I'm gonna sit down at the table and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start putting my seeds in. First, I'm gonna start with the beef steak tomato and I'm gonna put about two holes and drop them in there. And they're five cells. I'm gonna go ahead and get all my holes ready. And this is just a popsicle stick. I've got all my holes ready. So we're gonna go ahead and start. And these are real small um, seeds. So you just have to know that you're not gonna go real deep with these little bitty seeds and just barely cover it. We're gonna take the stick and we're gonna gently cover the, the seed up. Next is the Gardener's Delight. I think I lost my seed. <laughs> Let me put another one in there.
you have to have patience and take your time when you're starting these seeds because you don't want to go too fast and do something wrong because you are anxiously going to be awaiting for these seeds to pop up. Next is the cherry tomatoes, and this is the last of the tomatoes. I'm recording. Now these are bigger and you can see they're going in the hole. I'm recording. How was practice? It was good. We had like four different drills. Okay. Next is a national pickling cucumber. Now for these, I'm going to, I saw where some people cut the very end and that helps with germination, but I'm not gonna do it. So I'm gonna try to drop it in there long ways and you want to use the best looking seeds that you have because some of them look a little smaller than the rest of them Next is the muncher cucumber. These are the kind I usually grow. Seeds are a little bit bigger. Some of them went in the way I wanted, some of them didn't. Next is the Black Beauty zucchini. Now this is a bigger seed. So we're going to really try like this one right here. Now we're not going to use anything like that because I don't think that will do anything. So we don't even want to waste our time with it. So as I said, you want to use the best looking seeds you have. Make sure I'm in the right place. Yep. And I want to double plant. Now with that one, I'm going to definitely plant with the sideways, straight up and down.
push and bound first. And then we're going to cover. And you're just going to lightly cover. And the reason I'm planting two seeds per sale is because you want to do two just in case one of them doesn't come up. And then when they, if they both come up, you're going to take the strongest one or both of them might look strong and you'll be able to have two plants. Next is the straight neck yellow squash. And this is going to be a bigger seed too. And again, just look and get your, pick your best looking seeds. You want to push them down a little bit. Make sure they're in good contact with the soil. And then cover them up. Next is the Crookneck Yellow Squash. Oh, there's only a few in here. Okay, we're gonna, about six left. Now we're going to push them gently down in. Since they're a bigger seed. And then we're gonna cover them up. Put them down a little bit closer to me. Next is some sage, some broadleaf sage. Now I've tried to grow this on my own a few times and I did not like what they looked like. So I ended up always going to uh, I end up going to Lowe's and get some. I'm gonna put two seeds per hole because they're really small. So I never like I never liked how they look when I grow them. So I always end up going to get a plant that's already established, and they they look better to me. But we have a lot of seeds in here. Whoops, I dropped one. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have a stray plant. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to put them back. Why well, didn't you use? Now I'm going to just gently cover that because that seed is so small. I don't want it to get... You don't want to put too much dirt on your small seeds because they might not come up. 
Let me let you see how small this is. Now, the last thing we're going to start today is my Asian cucumbers. This is Hmong cucumbers, and they're supposed to be this really big, very meaty cucumber that grows really big, okay? Uh, my friend at work, his wife sent these to me, and she sent me some pepper plants, but I'm not getting ready to do my peppers yet. So, let's get these in here. I'm really excited to see how big these are because he told me that when you think it's ready, let it grow some more because they are bigger than the average cucumber. So I'm ready to taste them because I love cucumbers in the summertime, especially fresh out the garden. Okay, so they went down and they're good. So now we're going to cover them up. Now make sure you don't leave your seed uncovered because in order for it to germinate, it has to be covered up. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I took one of the cells from the, another pack that I have and I'm going to gently pack each one down so that that makes sure that the seeds are in contact with the dirt. And make sure that you use potting soil or seed, start, seed starting soil when you are planting because this right here soil, it has a lot of vitamins and everything that these new seeds are gonna need to get a good start. You don't have to be rough. Just gently do it. Now I'm going to add some water to the bottom of the tray. Okay, now what I'm getting ready to do is remove one of these cells out. Very carefully. I'm going to put the water in the bottom of the tray. Okay, I'm going to start with about that much. That way it's going to be able to continue to have a water supply. And then we don't have the water from the top anymore because we've got the water in the bottom. I'm gonna put this on a heat mat. This is my heat mat that I got from Lowe's. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on it. Then I'm going to take it over there on the rack that we got this past weekend. And me and Monty put it together. And it'll stay like this on the heat mat until they germinate. And once you start seeing the seedlings come up, that's when you put the heat light on it. And this is the grow light, I mean to say. This is my grow light. This is the price of the heat mat, $29.98. Now this is what the tray looks like. I have all of my seeds labeled, 10 rolls of five with everything that's going to hopefully come up. Okay, so I have the heat mat under there and it's plugged up. 
and it's it is getting warm but it's not going to be hot it's just going to give it some heat to replicate the ground being warm outside in the summertime okay so this is the rack that i'm telling you that i got and this is strictly for my garden supplies so that is the tub of the extra seating seat starting soil and this is the extra tray those are my knee pads i've been using in the garden and so i'm not going to have this thing the whole thing full of seedlings but this is just something that we got i thought i needed it and i really do because it comes in handy it has five shelves on it and i think it was 64 dollars at walmart okay so this is what it looks like so far now i'm not going to make a part two to this seed starting video until they start to germinate so I've done a lot of researching all winter long. I was waiting for spring. So I looked at about a whole bunch of videos on starting seeds because this is the first year I've ever done it. And I took the best information from all the videos and I put them together in this video. This is the very first time I've done it. Y'all wish me luck. And I'm going to see y'all again in seven days so y'all can see what it looks like. All right, y'all, I hope I helped you and I hope I gave you some information. Maybe you can look at this one and won't have to look at 10 or 20 videos like I did. Okay, guys, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.